first the journey is to make sure that you know those who he will send to hear they know who they are and whose they are Jesus is the way and he said it plainly Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no man comes unto the father but by me so you can't sneak in any kind of way you want unless it's through the father's only begotten son which is Jesus the Christ of Nazareth don't get it twisted Jesus answered us in John 3 and 3 and he said unto us verily verily I say unto thee except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God it is by faith that we believe for Jesus said in John 3 and 8 the wind blows where it wishes and you can't tell where it comes or goes so it's very so 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 is everyone excuse me that is born of the spirit hallelujah God is good he is perfect his ways are perfect so to be born again it tells us in Romans 10 9 and 10 it doesn't tell us to be in any church any congregation any particular person have to do this with us but it says thou if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead thou shall be saved for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation Glory to God. And salvation is not a small thing. I looked it up in Hebrew, Hebrews. God. Yasha. Hebrews. In Hebrew, salvation means free. To be safe. Avenging. Defend. Deliver. Help. Preserve. Rescue. Having salvation. Savior. Get victory. Come on. Get victory. Deeper something. Deeper something, something saved, prosperity, health, health. So all of you guys who are sick in your body and you are a child of God, that sickness is there illegally because Jesus have already paid the price. He have already bore all sickness in his body for you. You have to learn to receive it. And I am here to build your faith so that it will happen. Glory to God. <laughs> they, you know, his disciples said unto to them, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never hunger. And he that believes on me shall never thirst. Read 1 Corinthians 12 and 3 on your time. Wherever he leads you, you know, Acts, he'll, he'll meet you where you are. Read Luke 24 and 45 over yourself. Ask God to open your understanding that you may understand the scriptures. Read Romans 4 and 9 where he sends you. He'll draw you to know the things that it's time for you to know. Every tongue will and should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father and that's my prayer for you is that your understanding be open so that you can know your rights you know Jesus said because it is given unto us to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven to know the hidden truths but to them is not given to them who is them them is who do not believe that Jesus Christ is the only begotten son of God and was raised from the dead Legally, our sin Jesus is awesome Jesus is the way he Jesus is our our author and the finisher of our faith and this is my belief for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray 